Dan Spindle, Sheriff Park here with you with some breaking news. This out of Sandy, where a bicyclist was hit and killed by a train this morning. Investigators say the teen rode around the down gate arm at that track's crossing. News specialist Tamara Vaifanua joins us live near 8700 South, where this happened. Tamara, this is, this is so sad. Yeah, it really is a sad uh, situation, uh, but Canyon School District just confirming to me that the student involved in this incident this morning was in fact a student at Jordan High, so you can just imagine what student staff are going through there. But just to bring you up to speed on exactly what investigators are looking at, they believe that this individual waited for one train to pass, and then while the gate arms were down, the victim then went under the gate arms and didn't see another oncoming train and was killed on impact. UTA crews spent hours Monday morning piecing together a tragic incident that took a young person's life near this track's crossing in Sandy. We had two trains that were coming almost simultaneously towards that uh, crossing. Carl Arkey, spokesperson for UTA, says around 7.30 this morning, the bicyclist noticed the train heading northbound and waited for the gate until the train had passed. The gates were down, the lights were on, the bells were ringing. The victim then lifted up the gate, Arky says, to get underneath it and was struck by an oncoming train. Quite often people will see the first train that clears the crossing and they won't see the second one and that's when tragedies occur. UTA Police Chief Dallin Taylor urges people to keep this safety tip in mind. If the gate arms are activated, even if those lights are activated, um, everybody needs to treat it like a, a traffic signal, like a red light. With the train moving quickly, it takes quite a distance to get it to stop, and at that point, the only thing the operator can do is brake. And we understand that sometimes people get impatient, people are always in a hurry, but this is the reason why you take your time, especially when you're around a railroad crossing. The principal of Jordan High issued a statement earlier that says in part, quote, the death of a peer can be difficult for teenagers to process, and our school has a plan in place to provide students with the appropriate support. Starting immediately, Jordan High counselors, assisted by Canyons District Student Services staff members, will be available to meet with students who may be experiencing difficult emotions. Students can seek the help by going to the counseling center. Uh, administrators also uh, provided some tips for parents on ways that they can help their grieving teen and we posted all of that information as well as the entire statement from Jordan High on our website and you can just go to ksltv.com.